So I'm headed to Crystal River to find out if the Nestle's water plant is polluting the uh, Crystal River. Crystal River's name comes from the idea of a river that is crystal clear. But ever since Nestle's has moved into Crystal River and uh, have their pump pumping out the springs, the river has become very muddy. So last time I visited, last year, I went there and noticed it was very muddy. So I'm visiting again, and this time I'm bringing my camera gear to record and to alert folks about Nestle's. What Nestle's is doing is stealing the water. They paid a very small permit, I think it's like $5 or $10 a permit to pump water, and they can take as much water as they like. And right now, you know, the bottle industry is a billion dollar plus industry, and Nestle's, which is a company based out of Switzerland, um, and you can watch a documentary on them on Netflix, I can't remember the name, but it deals with water. If you type in water, you'll see their documentary. They're basically stealing the water from communities all over America. And now they're in Crystal River, where I went to high school, and they're doing the same thing. So I'm hoping to alert folks with this video about the crime against the community that this big billion dollar company is doing. So the video that I'm taking, the 4K video, is all part of Found Up's open media content. And I invite you, if you are a high school student or whatever, to, you know, interested in, in uh, making films or documentaries, I invite you to use this content, it's all open source, to create your own documentary about what's going on. All you need to do is click on this link right here and it will take you to the um, playlist, the unlisted playlist that has all the content in it. Um, and if you are an activist and interesting to bring awareness to this, then I invite you to spend some time and use YouTube video editor or you can download the content into your own video editor and create an action video to stop companies like Nestle's who are taking advantage of rules and regulations that haven't caught up with the times and basically robbing communities of their water. It's a serious crime and we need to stop them. So I ended up finding the city manager and interviewing him and I learned some very, very interesting, interesting things about what's going on. I also interviewed some folks along the coast and I record that with the Osmo. This is my iPhone. But I want to give a summation of what I discovered. Number one is basically in the last 20 years the rivers have been attacked by evasive poisonous algae that ultimately is covering the bottom. And ultimately the idea is, it, uh, is, is actually what's happening is, is the pig farms in, in uh, Gainesville and other areas in Orlando which all connect all this the aquifer in Florida pretty much all connects all this runoff from these farms is, is somehow leaching into the um, springs and then coming out into Crystal River and this is one of the areas where the springs let out and in basically what's happening is, is there's a lot of nitrates in the water that's fueling this the other thing is um, um, what I discovered about the bottling plant, it is a Nestle's bottling plant. Ever they, 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 they were able to open the, the bottling plant for just $50. Now, the water in Florida, here's the problem, the water in Florida is controlled by the state. All the water in Florida is controlled by the state. So the local governments really have no power or say, so should someone get access to, uh, to a well and, and sink a well, ultimately there, there's nothing they can really do except for Aston the Modern, which as soon as they discovered this, and, and a, there were a lot of vocal people that came to the, the, uh, the town hall, the, the meeting, right, and expressed their concern over it, and they basically got assurances. From what the city manager told me was that no water's been pumped so far, and basically it's, it's just sitting there. Now, is it sitting there waiting for people to die down, for them to open up, and probably, and then start, you know, once people kind of like forget about it, 
but it's ready to go. They have their permit. It's all locked up right now. And um, ultimately, um, it isn't pumping. So it's not the cause of the water as I thought. But still, it's a concern. And, and what needs to happen is there needs to be a referendum, a state referendum that places the water in, in whatever com com companies that want to get a permit must be regulated by the, the, you know, the uh, community that it falls in. The idea that the state controls the water is really something that is ridiculous and it's probably because you know 50 years ago, 60 years ago there really wasn't much of an issue now but now that there's water issues and everything else we have to re-look at that. So you need to be writing your representative um, every community needs to write their representative and say, listen, I want control of our water. You need to support or, 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 or push a bill that ultimately puts the, the control of the water in the hands of the community where the water is. It only makes sense. So that's my wrap up. Hope you enjoy this. And uh, you got to fight for water because com companies like Nestle's is, in, is ultimately trying to take it on. And to quote the CEO of Nestle's, he says, we're going to run out of water, drinking water that is, far sooner than we're going to run out of petroleum, gas, and everything else. The water wars are on. Nestle's is one of the, one of the water barons out there that is basically taking control of our water. And we need to fight back. You need to become aware of this. And you need to find out where is your water coming from and who's taking it and get control of it. My name is Mike Trout. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, consider supporting it. It's ad-free. All my videos are ad-free. I don't support Google. I don't support any of these large corporations. My contributions come from people like you who contribute as little as $3 a month to support my work, my, my um, activism around the world. I hunt hornets. I do bee conservation. And whenever I see a problem, I make a video on it like this one right here. Thanks a lot.